Broncos country came together this afternoon to remember the life and legacy of owner Pat Bolin. Coaches, players, past and present, along with 4,000 fans, gathered at Mile High to pay tribute to Mr. B and his contributions to the team and to Colorado. And today's events truly felt like a celebration of Pat Bolin's life throughout the hall. There was memorabilia from his Super Bowl rings to some of his popular outfits. Denver 7's Megan Lopez talked with fans as they made their way through today's exhibit. She joins us live with their thoughts on the passing of Mr. B. Yeah, Jessica and Ann, these fans didn't know Pat Bolin personally, but they wanted to come here to take part in this public tribute. A lot of them had stories about Pat Bolin that they didn't mind sharing with us, and they said that they just wanted to take part in this history that you see around me because Pat Bolin did make history here in Colorado. It wasn't your typical tribute. More smiles than tears clothes but white roses. Fans sporting their best Broncos gear. We owe it to Pat Bolin. Because Pat Bolin wasn't your typical NFL owner. It didn't matter about the money, it was more about the players and the fans. These fans didn't know him. I could tell you a story if you got the time. But they had memories about him. I asked him if he'd mind posing for a picture with me. Small moments that meant the world to them. And as Pat Bolin got closer to me, he just kind of looked at me and gave me a really shy little smile and you know I just went all right Pat. This tribute their chance to learn a little bit more about his life. He did a lot for this community. Pat was a humble man and that's what made him so great. He seemed like he was a really nice guy more down to earth. And at the end a chance to meet Pat's living legacy. So we shook hands with the with the daughter and to make new memories in the few moments they had but perhaps the most special memory. I've been attending the club since I was eight years old. Was the moment a group of Boys and Girls Club kids passed through the memorial. Pat Bolin did a lot for the Boys and Girls Clubs. A small symbol of all Pat Bolin did for this community. I would tell him thank you a lot for everything he's done for the Broncos and the Broncos Boys and Girls Club. All he did for Colorado and for Broncos fans. One of the greatest owners the NFL has ever known. Giving them a reason to be proud to wear the orange and blue. What a legacy he had. And taking a live look back out here at the public tribute, you can still see that fans are still at this hour trickling through. This was only supposed to go from 10 to 3, but so many people were coming in here. The Bolin family is still here, still shaking hands with all of these adoring fans, a lot of them sporting their Broncos gear, just taking pictures and taking in this moment. I'm live, Megan Lopez, number 7. Thank you, Megan. And one of Mr. B's biggest fans, Parker the Snow Dog, even came by Mile High this afternoon to say goodbye. Parker had a few moments alone at the Bolin statue just outside of the stadium. If you would like to take a closer look at these photos, we've posted them on the Denver 7 Facebook page. And of course, Pat Bolin's passing is hardest on his family. For years, his wife and his seven children have watched him battle Alzheimer's disease, and they carried on his wishes, not only with the team, but in our community. Broncos insider Troy Rank joins us with their story. Fans struggled with their emotions today as they paid tribute to Broncos owner Pat Bolin. More than 2,100 came through in the first few hours to see a specially created museum of Bolin's artifacts and memorabilia that included his office desk, his Super Bowl rings, and of course, his iconic fur coat. John Elway said earlier this week, when Bolin wore that coat during the drive game, that's when the players realized just how cool their owner was. Six of the Bolden children, Christiana, Brittany, Annabelle, Johnny, Beth, and Patrick, spoke to the media today, admitting they were overwhelmed by the outpouring of support and affection for their father. He'd be incredibly overwhelmed by all of this support and love. And there'd definitely be a small part of him that would be like, what the heck? <laughs> It's been very comforting. It's been an overwhelming time emotionally for all of us. But to see the fans and the players and the staff that has come through has brought great comfort because we realize, which we already did, but it just solidifies how much my father meant to this community. There was irony today, of course, because Pat Bolin would have never wanted such a fuss but the team spared no expense in creating this special day to honor and pay tribute to Bolin and most notably the fans. We just would like to thank the Denver community for coming out and showing their support 
This really means so much to us and it would mean a lot to my father. Thank you. Reporting for Denver 7, I'm Troy Rennie. And tonight, following Denver 7 News at 6, we ask that you join us for a Denver 7 special dedicated to the life and legacy of Pat Bolin. We'll look back at Bolin's contributions to the Broncos and to our Colorado. Again, remembering Pat Bolin airs right here on Denver 7 at 630.